Do you mind, do you have any memories? Oh, I, I, I remember the ball game later on, yeah. Just the, the rough and tumble of it, didn't take part in it, wasn't big enough. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, I remember falling during the ball game, and a, a miner's boot coming by my head to hit on the curb next to my head. So that was a lucky escape. I remember mm. the crack of the, the of the miner's boot hitting the, uh, the 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 curb where I'd fallen. But um, that's about all I remember about being in the um, the ball game. It was a rough, r very rough in those days. Mm -hmm. They used to kick it up to the um, to the workhouse and kick it over the wall, so the the, the, the workhouse people could have a kick oh, at it. Oh, how lovely! Yeah, that was at the top of the hill, and then they would come kick it back down the street again. Um, but I remember it going up to the workhouse, so they could kick it over, and, and you could hear the the workhouse inmates inside kicking it about, oh. you know, and then they would kick it back after a time. Do you remember the ball game? I do, yes, but I was always um, a little afraid of it. We always um, used, I used to, I remember coming up on Tuesday, one show of Tuesday, and standing at the bottom of Church Street, and remembering this whoosh of people, and I'd just run up to my grandma's, you know, because, oh, I mean, and I can't stand it even to this day. I can't stand it, I'm just... I can't see what pleasure anybody gets out of it. I like the history part of it, but, um, you know, and, it, and I've got a friend who lives in Ashbourne, and of course they do a really big... Yeah, uh, that's where the river and everything is. Two, a two-day event, that is, you know. And, um, but, no, it's it's not my cup of tea at all. <laughs> do you remember any incidents during Board Game well, Day? I always remember it being as a, a really friendly... But, I mean, it's funny, I think, stick, but I, I remember it being a, a, a really friendly, and the children always used to have half an hour or so of kicking the ball up and down before it was let loose on, on the others. But I don't remember all the violence that there is these days. Do you remember the and, pennies being thrown? Yes, the pennies being thrown, and they used to throw sweets, dozens and dozens of sweets. I mean, and I do remember it. I mean, they used to take it up and they'd be in the canal. Um, or, you know, they'd come back absolutely sodden, you know. But I've never, never understood the concept of it, to be perfectly honest. But I do appreciate the historical part of it, you know. Not for you. Not for me. <laughs> Definitely not for me, no. <laughs> On Shrove Tuesday, it was full of people trying to look out of the window and they threw the ball out of one of those windows. And my brother and I were given pockets of pennies to throw to the crowd below. So we picked out all our friends. In fact, the ball was made by a cobbler who had a wooden shed just at the entrance to Vince's Row, opposite the Coach and Horses. I seem to remember he was uh, an elderly chap with one leg and he, he made the Shrove Tuesday balls. I can remember with old Tarleton and I think that was 1946, it was either 45 or 46. And I've got a feeling that my father threw it out when he was on leave from the forces during the war, but I can't, I can't really remember that. I do remember one occasion when they threw the ball out and immediately someone stabbed the thing and they had to retrieve it and we, one of the farmers got a pig's bladder and put it inside it and blew it up again and we threw it out again. Lordy, yeah. You used to have strict orders off my mum when come out of school. You do not go down that you ball do game. You go down the ball game. Where did we go? Down the ball game. <laughs> <laughs> and when we were questioned, where have you been? Up the outwards or, ooh, down under the cattle arch. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah, was a wall burn it. Yeah. yeah. I've heard the ball went down there. Oh, it's it been everywhere. Well, up by the region, somebody's year, house, it went through their house. They all went through their house. One year, they tried to get in my grandma's entry, but she she got a ball mastiff. <laughs> now, she blocked it and bolted it, the, the yeah. door at the bottom of the entry. Of course, they poof, flattened that. And then they looked up the yard and there was Monty standing on the gate, <laughs> this massive bull mastiff. And the one chap went, back. <laughs> no way, lads. So they went, out my grandma's entry, 
and they bunted one another over the conservative club gate, which was ten foot high. <laughs> and then the conservative headquarters was there. So they went up the steps and punched hole in the glass door to get in there with the ball. But the stupid boy that pushed his fist through cut his juggler. Oh, oh my God. It was just spurty. Oh, the, you could follow him where he'd walked. The blood trace. Yeah. yeah. Was he all right? Yeah. Well, he, they took him to the hospital. Mm -hmm. I think somebody picked... They couldn't wait for the ambulance. My grandma gave them a tea towel to tie round it. And somebody went and fetched a van and took him in the van. Um, but I think he, he must have been all right after, mm. but he was very, very lucky. Mm. 